Hi everyone, Photo Pro Traveler here. Thanks for joining in. Now, um, there's a dual purpose for what I'm about to get into today. The first part of what I'm gonna talk about is that I have picked up another lens, so it's another unboxing. It's of another lens for my Nikon Z7, so I'll get to that in a few moments time, but the main reason, and actually the reason that I bought the lens, the main reason for this video today is that I'm heading away uh, tomorrow, about 13 hours time, I'm heading out to the airport and I'm off to Mongolia. It's a work trip, but um, I am gonna bring a fair bit of gear and I really hope if I get the opportunity, fingers crossed, to get some really interesting photos. There's a couple of, um, I guess, challenges to that. I'll talk about a little. Challenge number one is uh, looking at today's minimum and maximum forecast for Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia. Minimum temperatures today of minus 30 in Celsius. Balmy maximum of minus 17. So challenges for personal health, you know, what to wear. Um, challenges in terms of gear, battery life, that kind of thing. It's going to be an interesting challenge, but I am bringing my camera, I am bringing the drone, the DJI Mavic Mini. If you haven't seen my unboxing and first play with the Mavic Mini, I'd suggest you check it out. It'll be linked down below and at the end of this video. Also bringing some lenses to take some wide angle uh, shots, which brings me to the main reason for today's video, or at least one of the reasons, and that is that I wanted a wide angle lens. The what I'm shooting on at the moment, which is the S series lens, the 24 to 70 f 2.8, which I want to tell you is an absolute treat of a lens. It's gone straight to the top of my bag in terms of lenses to use. I also have 51.4 and the Sigma 105.14, which is an absolute treat, but a beast of a lens to carry around. 24 to 70 f 2.8 is just such a versatile lens. I really love it. There is an unboxing of that which I haven't actually uploaded yet to my channel, but in due course I will. Um, it's an awesome lens and hopefully you'll see through the videos that I'm recording on the versatility of that lens. But the one limitation of a 24 millimeter is it's not super wide. And I'm traveling tomorrow, as I said, I'm in the middle of the South Gobi Desert in a few days time. There's gonna be an awesome array of things to take photos of. And I just wanted a super wide lens or a wider lens to be able to capture everything that's going on around me. So, picked up this little thing, which is the Z-mount Nikon 14 to 30. Now, it is S series lens, and it is only an F4. Now, I was waiting for the, a 14 to 24 2.8 to come out. There is one slated for 2020. Unfortunately, it hasn't landed as yet. So, I did pick up the 14 to 30 little bit of extra range f4 I figure at wide angle I'm hoping not to miss the extra couple of stops of light but let's get into what's inside the box keen to give it a go what do we have here first up we have felt case it's a shame I do miss the hard cases uh, for lenses but I guess in terms of cost savings that's a thing to uh, save a bit of money on warranties and other information that will absolutely never get read. I can assure you of that. But getting more inside the box, what do we have here? Bubble wrap. And here it is, the lens itself. Now, it does have, much like the 24 to 70 F4, which I did own and then subsequently sold when I bought the uh, 2.8 that I'm currently using, it does have this Annoying click. I've got to say this feels a bit better than the 24 to 70 F4, which I had. It feels a bit, it doesn't feel as plasticky. I don't think, it's probably just a perception because they're probably made in exactly the same way. Look, it does look like, it looks like an amazing lens. There is a lens hood in here, I'm sure. But in terms of weight, it's super light, but it's it does feel like a professional lens. It doesn't feel like some of the cheap plasticky lenses that you can get but I mean of course it is um, only an f4 as I mentioned now there should be a lens hood which there is so there you go 14 to 30 f4s keen to give that a go in a few minutes I've also picked up which is just off to my left 
I have picked up one of these. Now, this is the Fotix LED light M180. So it's sitting off to my left and I thought I'd give it a try out for this film. Now I'm gonna be staying out in the middle of the South Kobe Desert in Gur accommodation. If you don't know what Gur accommodation is, you can Google that or you can hang on and see my uh, the video that I make upon my return. Um, so limited access to lighting and power. It's gonna be cold and dark. Uh, so I needed a light and this is a tiny little device uh, and as you can see uh, it's operating at about 70 odd percent of power and it allows color temperature changes so from a cool slightly blue light right through the orange is thrown in there as well so very versatile light I'm pretty keen to give that a go I think it's about time to get this lens on the Nikon Z7 take some some sample images I'll get them up and I'll post them with this video. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you do like my content, please feel free to give me a like, a share, or a subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified next time I upload a video. So early start for me tomorrow morning. I'll be out at the airport, off to Mongolia, and looking forward to shooting some video over in that part of the world and sharing it with you when I get back. Till then, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up down below. Thanks very much.